Hey guys, this is David Crennan. I'm the DM with Never Tell Me the Odds. And here's a little tutorial about how the dice system works in the Star Wars RPG by Fantasy Flight Games. These dice are considered storytelling dice because their mechanic takes the story further than the usual pass-fail die roll of games like D&D. We have ability dice, proficiency dice, and boost dice commonly referred to as the green, yellow, and blue dice. On the other hand, we have the difficulty die, challenge dice, and setback die, also referred to as the purple, red, and black dice. The uh, three skill dice all determine how good a character's ability is to do something. The difficulty and setback dice all determine how hard it is to accomplish what you want to do. Ability and proficiency dice, that's these guys here, those are included on your character sheet. They're how good you are at doing something. Difficulty and challenge dice, these two, set the difficulty of a particular situation or how hard it is to beat an NPC at doing something. Finally, we have the boost and setback die, these guys here. They just help or hinder rolls depending on environmental conditions or situational modifiers. There are three positive dice symbols and three negative dice symbols. The positive symbols each correspond to only one negative symbol. Success corresponds only with failure. Advantage corresponds only with threat. Finally, we have triumph and despair. So these two have their own unique effect, and we're going to talk about that in one second. When a player is ready to make a skill check, they'll look at their character sheet and see how many green and yellow skill dice they get to roll. The number and type of negative dice, the purple and red ones, are determined by the GM. Every roll includes both positive and negative dice. Each success is cancelled by a failure, and vice versa. The same thing happens with advantage and threat. Threat and advantage cancel each other out. If no successes are left, the roll is considered a failure. If there's advantage left on the roll, we let the player determine what happens. If there's threat, the GM gets to determine what that is. If no advantage or threat are left, it simply means there's no advantage or threat in that role. It doesn't affect the success or failure. They simply provide a narrative element to tell you if you're left in a better position or a worse position than when you started. Okay, so here's an example. Stormtroopers come around the corner, you take out your blaster and fire. Roll your attack roll. Your successes and failures cancel out and you're left with a success. It's a hit. Good job. However, there's some threat on the roll. So the DM gets to decide that the stormtrooper falls backwards and triggers an alarm panel on the wall. Uh-oh. Finally, the triumph and despair symbols. These are the most awesome part of the game. Because if a triumph comes up, something really super awesome and amazing happens in the game. Like maybe some Ewoks decide that your protocol droid is a god. And if a despair comes up, something really terrible and awful happens. Like maybe you lose your hand in a lightsaber fight. Just like advantage and threat, we let the players determine the positive symbol, in this case, triumph, but the negative symbol, despair, is decided by the DM. This is where it gets crazy, because a triumph and a despair do not negate each other. They don't cancel each other out, which means you could potentially have both of them on the same roll. Now, a triumph does count as an additional success, and a despair does count as an additional failure. And while those successes and failures can be canceled out, the amazing or terrible thing never goes away. So you could roll both of them, have them both apply on the same roll, uh, it could even be a failure, but you could still have a triumph. It could be a failure and some threat, and you get a triumph. It could be a failure and a threat, and you get some triumph, and you also get a despair, and that would all be in play on the same roll, which is why this game is so great. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. That's the tutorial. And if you want to see this in action, we actually play it every other Friday on the Saving Throw Show channel. It's Never Tell Me the Odds. Find the link below, 7.30 p.m. to 11 Pacific Time. You can also join in the chat and actually influence the outcome of the game. Just like these dice. So jump in the chat, say hi to us, and watch us every other Friday. Thanks so much, and we'll see you soon.